going to show you how to use chat GPT to develop your own trading bot. You'll be able to backtest these strategies to see for yourself how well they do, which I will show you at the end of this video. And if this video helps you at all, all that I ask is that you hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this, get me in your feed, and then hit the like button so I know this video helped you. Let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is go to tradingview.com. This is a site that all the traders are using these days, and it's free. So just pick any kind of crypto or stock that you want. There's Tesla, Apple here. We're going to go with Bitcoin. Then we want to go ahead and open up our Pine Editor. This is where you put the code that you get from ChatGPT into. TradingView will run the code and do whatever it says. So to get the code, we got to go to ChatGPT. And since we don't know how to code, we got to rely on ChatGPT for this. Here we go, ChatGPT. So one thing that you should know is that ChatGPT is not updated to the latest syntax of PineScript, which is the programming language that TradingView uses. ChatGPT is limited up to, I think, 2021 knowledge of the internet. So it's not quite there yet. When ChatGPT 4 gets released, then it'll know everything that we know on the internet and it'll just destroy everybody in terms of just knowledge. So yeah, looking forward to it. But for now, we are stuck with primitive ChatGPT 3, but we can still kind of make it work for us. So what we want to do is we want to ask ChatGPT to create a simple trading strategy. I'm just kind of showing you what ChatGPT is capable of. Now, honestly, me, I don't know too much about programming languages. I don't know too much about trading nor PineScript, but I can kind of navigate myself with ChatGPT's help. So what we want to ask ChatGPT to do is write me an EMA crossover trading strategy strategy that displays the 50 and 20 day moving average. Then I want to go long when the EMA 20 is above the EMA 50. And I want to short when EMA 20 is below the EMA 50. And since we're going to back test this, we're going to need some money. I want to trade with 5,000 shares and we only told it to open positions. Now we're going to say, I want to close my position with good profit. It's being a little bit vague, but chat GPT can handle handle it. And then we're going to ask it to make it into PineScript version five code. Let's hit enter and let's see what it comes up with. All right. And here we go. We have our code. So let's take this, go in the trading view, paste it in and then add to chart. And let's see if it takes it on the first try. Looks like trading view is giving us a compilation error. It wants us to add the version line, which is really easy to do. All you got to do is take this and add it to the top just like that. Super easy. Let's go back to add to chart. See if that fixes it. So we're just going to take this error. Go Go in the chat GPT and say, I got this error and paste it in. Make sure you copy in the full error code. I didn't at first, but I went back and changed it. So now it's giving us the full code with that fix and hopefully this works. All right, we got some new code. Let's take this copy and let's try this again. We're getting the version two line error again, quick fix and add the chart. And now we're getting a new error. It's saying this script must have a study or strategy function call. I've seen this one before. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT can fix this one pretty easily. So let's just tell it. Now I got this error. Now it should add the study or strategy function call at the top like this. And I'm pretty sure this should do it. So now we have this. Let's copy it over and there we go. And we're $62 million in profit. And you guys can see the chart here. It added when you should open and when you should close, depending on what we indicated on ChatGPT's prompt. And you can see how ChatGPT's strategy did. If you go to right next to Pine Editor, you click on Strategy Tester. It shows you all this, the net profit, 43%, which is not bad. We're dealing with a lot of money here because, I mean, look at this, 62 million. At one point, we were, what, 49 million in the dumper? I don't know how we got to that point actually we can check you can go and you can see the list of trades all the trades that it made and it made what uh, 132 trades I made 132 trades over the course of two years now there's a way that you can get it to back test in a certain amount of time let's just go back to chat gpt and we'll just say that code worked good job chat gpt now i only want to test in between these time frames. Let's just do the year of 2023. January 1st, 2023 to today, January 27th, 2023. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. I've tried this before. It's talking about a security function, which did not work when I tried last time, but we'll try it anyway. We might have to write this one ourselves. And it's actually a pretty simple code to put in, but we'll see if this one works. Copy our code and paste it in. And we're getting that timestamp error. So I don't think chat GPT is going to be able to do this. So we're just going to have to help it a little bit. We're just going to say that is not the correct way to back test in PineScript version five. 
this is the correct way to back test. Here's the code here. We just need to change these numbers up a little bit. The first number is the year. The second number is the month. And the third number is the day. So we have January 1st, January 27th. Let's tell chat GPT to fix this. Chat says, you are correct. I apologize for the mistake. All right, so we have our code and let's not forget our version number and add the chart. Oh, we got an error. You know what to do. And I just, I kind of cheated and fixed this myself. It was just a, a bracket error. I just deleted the brackets and it, and it worked. Uh, so now we can go back to our strategy tester and it looks like it made one trade because it's only been, because I told it only to trade within 27 days. And uh, here it is. And where are we at? Are we in the dumper or how much money have we made? I don't even think we, we haven't even closed yet. But if we were to close now, hey, we'd make pretty good profit. We're up like $31 million in profit right now. ChatGPT is making us money. And that's how you can use ChatGPT to help you create a trading bot. And then take those trading bot strategies and back test them to see how well they do. You can do this with many different strategies. This is just an example. And if anybody here knows trading, DM me on Twitter. Let's see if maybe we can come up with some useful chat GPT prompts to help people. And remember, if this video helped you, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be updated on upcoming AI or technology, you have to follow me on Twitter at Nick is Meta. That is the quickest place I can update you without having to make a whole video. If you're not following me on Twitter, you are missing out big time, especially in a time like this where Amazon just uh, a couple hours ago announced that they're getting into Web3 and NFTs. Web3 Gaming, there's a lot coming. So I definitely recommend that you follow me on Twitter now and I'll see you guys in the next video.